This video will show you the process of creating an NYDOCGOV account for the Statewide Learning Management System, or also known as SLIMS. First, you need to go to the website, ws04.nyenet.state.ny.us, then click the I don't have an account option. Once that loads, you will see three options. Out of those three, you click the first one that says Personal. Another screen will load, and that's when you click the Sign Up for Personal NY.gov ID, the blue button at the bottom of the page. From there, you would have to enter all your information in, first name, last name, email, confirmation email, and your preferred username. We recommend that your email should be your personal email and your preferred username must be your CE number or NY number followed by your seven digits. The NY or CE must be capitalized or you won't see your training history. After entering all your information in, you then click the I am not a robot. Now this is different for everyone. Once you click it, it will tell you something to do. It might ask you a couple times, and then it comes with, with a check if you got it right. Then you press Create Account. Please note, if you get the error message username not available after clicking the Create Account, you can then refer to the video below in the description called Resetting Your Password for Your NY.gov ID. If you don't get the error message that says username not available after pressing the create account, then it will pull up all your information that you just entered. And if you get a message that says you might already have an ny.gov ID, then just press continue anyways. This is where it says please check your email and click on the link inside. Once you go to your email, you will see that you got an email from ny.govid at its.ny.gov. The message will read, Dear so-and-so, thank you for registering a ny.gov ID. Your username is your CE number or your NY number followed by the seven digits. Please click here to activate your account. Please do not close out the browser while completing the account activation. If the above link does not work, please copy and paste the below URL into the browser. Thank you, New York State. When you click on the link, it should bring you to this page with your secret questions. You choose your questions and then you press continue. Then it says you have successfully saved your secret questions and answers. Please click the below continue button to set your new password. So now you make yourself a new password. Then you press set password. And then it says your new password has been set. Use this new password the next time you log into your account. Then you press continue. And then you press continue my enrollment. And then you get a page that says you can self enroll in the following apps. Statewide Learning Management System SLIMS and then you press the enroll that's in bright green. After you press enroll, a page will pop up that looks just like this, and then you press the personal information home. Please note, if you receive the following pop-up, do you want to view only the web page content that was delivered securely? Click no to proceed. After pressing the personal information home button, you then should get a page that looks like this. This is when you update your information like address, email address, phone number, and job information. When you try to update your job information, use the radio buttons to select an existing job, and then click on the update job information. When you're trying to add a new job information, click the add new job information button. You then get brought to this page.
The following fields are required for the job information. The organization, the job title, the job family, and the job type. If a specific organization is not found when you click on the little magnifying glass next to the organization box, then you can just select Other. If you are a Codes Enforcement official, select Codes Enforcement instead of CEO. Otherwise, select Other for the job title. For job family, if a specific job family is not found, then select Other. Please note that the supervisor field must remain blank. After entering all your job information, press the Save Job Information and Return to Summary button. You then get brought back to the information page. You then click the Information Validated and Sign Off button. Please note, once you click on the Information Validated and Sign Off button, you cannot update your existing job information anymore, even if you log into your account after the account creation. But you can always add a new job information when you log into your account later. After clicking the Information Validated and Sign Off button, you should then click the Sign Out button located at the top right hand of the page. After logging out of SLIMS, then you will wait 10 to 15 minutes before signing back in. You go to a new website that is nyslearn.ny.gov to sign into your SLIMS. Click on the SLIMS login, the bright orange button at the top. Please note that this is the website that you will be using from now on to view your training history. To view your training credits, view the video below in the description called How to View Your Training Credits.